when I saw those fast swoopers in action, I just had to build a mini RC version myself. I started with the plans, built the canopy, tested it from a hill, then from a crane, and finally from an airplane. Join me on this challenge and see how it all turned out. Hi, my name is Natze and I've been making RC parachutes for over 20 years, but never a swoop canopy. Until now. Stay with me and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Every new parachute starts with a plan. First I make 3D model of the canopy. From that model I make paper shapes for each part. The cells, ribs and other pieces. My friend has a laser cutter. It's the fastest way to cut the paper templates. I cut the fabric with a hot knife. It's actually a soldering iron with a sharp tip. I always keep my parts in order, so I don't mix them up. For the top I need 14 cells, for the bottom also 14, and there are 72 small diagonal pieces inside the canopy. That's a lot of cutting. I cut each rib with the hot knife and mark the spots for the diagonals. I need 15 ribs in total. Cutting the fabric is really easy when you use templates. Anyone can do it. I am thinking about making a built video with detailed instructions and the full plan. If you are interested, let me know in the comments below. So, first I sew the diagonal parts onto the ribs. Then I start sewing the top surface. Two cells and one rib at a time. The fabric is very thin and slippery, so I must be careful. Now it's time for the bottom side. I must not forget the small loops where the lines will be attached later. When all the lines are finished, the canopy is ready for testing. And I just can't help it. Every time I finish the lines, I have to go outside and inflate the canopy a little just to see if everything looks right. Now it's time for the first flight. I always do this on a nearby hill. It's just steep enough to test skydiving canopies. Here we are. I turn on the transmitter and here's my test pilot. I'm really excited because I can't wait to see how the canopy will fly. The wind speed and direction are just right. First, I do a quick visual check of the canopy. If everything looks good, it's time to go! The model surprised me right away. It reacted to the controls very fast. I didn't expect such quick responses. My other models feel lazy compared to this one. After a few more flights, I got used to it. It's not difficult to control, but maybe the pilot's arm movements are too big for this type of canopy. I noticed that it flies nicely, but the minimum speed is quite high, and when I brake too much, it quickly stalls. That's not a big surprise, since this canopy has a much smaller surface area than my other models for the same pilot. I did a few more flights to learn how it behaves and make sure everything works fine. Now it's time for the next test. A drop from a 35 meter crane. I modified my crane by adding long wooden extensions. Now I can raise the model up to 35 meters high. That's high enough for testing when I don't have a drop plane with a pilot. I pack the parachute into the back, because there is no time for free fall. It has to open as fast as possible. The model is raised up with a rope and pulley. Let's do a base jump. Wow! The parachute opened really fast and straightforward. It reacts to the controls very quickly. And flying feels very different from flying off a hill. 
Even though the flight only lasts a few seconds and has two turns, it feels great. Look at this opening. Perfect. And not so perfect landing. Ouch. It flies faster than my other models, but there are no problems with stability. That really surprised me, in a good way. Well, not every jump was perfect, but I gained enough confidence to believe that the airplane drop could be successful. And that's coming up next. My good friend took me up in the air with this beautiful airplane. I was a little nervous. This is the real jump now. So, I'm really happy with my first swoop canopy. It opens nicely, flies stable, turns fast and it looks great too, at least for me. I would like to make it a bit faster. So I will try changing the angle of attack and adding some extra weight to the pilot. You will see all that in the next video and also the very first swoop over the water with this model. Look, I spent a lot of time and effort making this video, so please share it with someone who might enjoy this kind of stuff. See you in part 2.